Hey, what's going on? It's your man Donuts. I am the owner of TeamRiserFall.com. I'm going to be talking to you today about the massive groups update over there on FancyCruncher.com. So the very first thing I'm going to do is slide over to the game filter. Make sure I have the 11 game slate. That is incredibly important with this. I'm going to slide over to the groups. And from here, you're going to see create a new group, create a new folder, which we will get to in a hot minute. Very, very cool update. You can enable and disable groups as we used to import them if you have them saved previously. Auto Group Creator Pro, beautiful. We will be going over this as well, but we're going to generically start with the old school create a group. This is if you're trying to create one group specifically. So let's pretend I want to create a group for, uh, let's go with Seattle, S E. A. And I have them sorted really quickly by my current rise or fall projections. And I'm going to key in Russell Wilson. And I know that I want Lockett, Carson, Metcalf, maybe even Olsen, David Moore. This is where you can start to argue and fine tune your own personal pool, how you see fit. But the cool part is not necessarily this, which by the way, it really is though, to some extent, because you see the entire team, you can filter it by ownership. You can use all these filters, less than 5% own Seattle Seahawks players only if you want. You can do it by projection. You can filter projections, all these filter possibilities. Very cool. So I'm going to slide up here and I generically have the old school way to make a group where I say if Russell Wilson, a keyed player is used, then at least one player is used, or I could say at least two or exactly two, whatever it might be. From here, you can then boost their projection for correlation within each stack. So if you think that Tyler Lockett seems to be a phenomenal play this week, I am going to boost up Tyler Lockett whenever Russell Wilson is the quarterback. Maybe DK Metcalf is going to get a 10% increase, and Chris Carson, we're going to decrease by 5%. All right, so I've just kind of picked and choose how I wanted to have this be. Maybe I really want Lockett to pop. That would be a 35% increase on his 15.28 points only when Russell Wilson is being used. That's what these beautiful plus minuses mean. So if I type in 35%, that means that whenever Russell Wilson is my quarterback, Tyler Lockett in the group will receive a 35% increase on his projection. This will not apply to any lineup outside of Russell Wilson being the quarterback. If you wanted to have Russell Wilson quarterbacking or Kyler Murray quarterbacking for Arizona and have these projections apply, Here's where things get really fun. I'm going to slide all the way down here, and I can make an Arizona contribution to my group here by keying in Kyler Murray. So anytime Kyler Murray is one of my quarterback or Russell Wilson is my quarterback, these players will get these increases. And again, I'm going to add whomever I want from this group. Maybe I add these three players and I give DeAndre a massive boost because I know I want him included. Uh, Kenyon Drake, I'm going to decrease. So maybe I'll put in a minus 10 and uh, Kirk, I'll just leave at 0%. So there's a good possibility that when I run out my lineups, I'm saying I want at least two players from here. This will give me at least two of this group of six players whenever Murray or Wilson is the quarterback. These projections will not happen outside of Wilson or Murray being a quarterback. I can go up here and I can rename this to Arizona, Seattle, three-man, game stack. Why am I going to be so specific here? Well, let me show you. Now you can create folders. So maybe I'm making three man game stacks and I want a three man game stack folder. So this is why it's important. I've made a three man game stack folder. Here was my three man game stack group with Wilson and Murray. I'm going to slide this right up in here. Now that group I just made can go right inside the three man game stack. Now there is one really cool aspect of the group stacks. If I were to be making this large group and I wanted these two players keyed in. And I've said group rules, if any of my keyed players come up, at least two players from this group will be used. Well, if you don't want to have a rule in effect, but you want the projections to be boosted or decreased by whatever these percentages are, whenever these quarterbacks pop up, you can have this box checked. If I uncheck this, you can see this box grayed out. 
If you uncheck it now, the rule is in effect. At least two players from this group will be used. If I click this, you'll watch this. Keep your eyes right here. Boom, they grayed out. This no longer works. This is not a rule anymore. This simply is saying if Wilson or Murray is a quarterback in your 150 lineups, then these projection boosts will be applied to these players. What this does is it allows Fantasy Cruncher to organically put together stacks and game stacks based on projection boosts without having group rules force those things to happen. There's a beautiful, beautiful feature here in the new Auto Group Creator Pro where I am able to set up a nice big group creation and I will then add individual players with individual projection increases. This is so cool. So here we go. Quarterbacks above, let's say 10 points projected. I can simply just make small groups like this first and and i'll show you here in a second why i'm going to do it like this and include all quarterbacks because i will be saving these to be used in future weeks now i want to include these players and i'm going to put them individually because i don't want them to have all the same projection increase so running backs on the same team who are above let's say we have two running backs on the same team like Al, or excuse me, like uh, Kareem Hunt has a 15 point projection. So I'll give uh, anybody above a 12 will get a 20% projection. And then I could do running backs again for anybody. Let's go below 12. And they will get a minus 10 point projection. All right. And then I can go to add another player wide receiver, and so on and so forth, however you want to set this up. Your best wide receivers on each team, if anybody has over a 15-point projection, you're giving them, if you say, a 35-point projection increase. And any wide receivers above a 10, which, by the way, will bracket this between 10 and 14. So let's say I want anybody above a 10 gets a 15% increase at wide receiver, and anybody below a 10... I want to set this up at minus five. And then I slide over to tight ends. And I'm basically just setting up kind of tiers, right? And all my tiered projection. The higher the projected player, I want to give them more uh, increase on their projection within the group so that I continue to get the most of the best, most optimal players on the team anybody above a five or you could simply do below 10 whatever they get maybe a 10 percent increase tight end two there you go so i've got a quarterback group set up and you'll see how this looks in a hot second i am going to say i want at least one because i want to generically set this up like this i'm going to add the team abbreviation I will also add the key player's name. Remember, we have key player quarterback. So this shows Houston Deshaun Watson. All right, not bad. Then I will name this. This will be Team Stacks. This is my Team Stacks folder, which will come with me every single week. I can load this up. I'm going to Auto Group Create and look at this gem absolutely glorious if i'm looking at aaron Rodgers, sort it by salary here Devonte adams aaron jones robert tunyon they all get the increases because they were above certain markers that i had put down in my auto groups everybody else looks like they're getting uh, little uh, drops there and then a team like this is going to be an interesting mix where you have zeke cooper lamb getting these nice 15 20 percent increases gallup 15 percent schultz at 10 percent uh, and, you know, when you go back in this, if you see this, you're like, hmm, interesting. Well, I like Gallup's upside at 4.6K, so I'm going to raise him up to 25% actually. Okay, cool. You can do that. All right, let's take a peek down here at the import groups. Here's why this is very important. We can slide over to, well, let's pretend it's week eight. All right, week eight comes around. You can import those groups, get them back. But let's say I make these groups and I just want to use them across generically all websites. Well, FanDuel. Here we go. I went to the import groups tab and I can take the groups that I had created on DraftKings and maybe on FanDuel, I think four mans are the way to rock and roll. I want to import just four mans or if you want to import three, four and your team stacks, by all means, you can do it that way if you'd like. It's very easy. Imported them. 
There we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's take a peek at showdown slates. This is pretty neat. We can actually set up some really, really cool showdown groups. And I think this is a big game changer for anybody that likes to play these showdown slates. I'm going to go to the Thursday night New York Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Thursday, 10-22 at 8-20 p.m. Advanced options. Go to your groups. I can create groups and check this out. You're going to love this. You're going to absolutely love this. Let's say I'm making my Philly group first. All right. Check it out, my friends. I'm going to sort by names really fast. I can set this up so that anytime Carson Wentz is included in a lineup, either as a captain or a non-captain, that I can have the players that I want included. I don't want any captains included here. I can't, well, I could if I wanted, but personally, maybe I'm setting this up differently. So I have Miles Sanders, Travis Fulgham, uh, if Alshon Jeffrey, I don't even know who's active here. Zach Ertz, Deshaun Jackson's making his comeback, I believe. Jalen Rieger's going to play. Uh, Greg Ward, whatever. All right, so I've got this big setup of a, a bunch of players here. All right, so I have my Wentz captain or Wentz flex players keyed in. And I'm going to set this up. Now, if you don't want the same increased projections whenever these two are in, then you're going to want to make two different groups. One with Wentz as a captain, and then one group with Wentz as a non-captain. So let me show you two different ways you could do this if you wanted uh, these types of increases. All right. And you're setting up these increases. And okay, here we go. So I've got this increase. For both of them. But maybe you say, well, game theory suggests blah, blah, blah. If Carson Wentz is not a captain, he likely was not the key to victory. So here's what I want to do. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take off Wentz the captain. We can make this Carson Wentz flex group. I'm going to click these three dots, make a copy. Rename it really fast. Carson Wentz Capitan. I'm going to add Carson Wentz as a captain now. He's no longer in flex. That way, these groups are separate. So if you think whenever Carson Wentz is a captain, you know, maybe I want Miles Sanders did not have a great day because Wentz threw for four touchdowns and Sanders was nothing special. Okay, minus 15%. Travis, Travis Fulgham. Okay, Carson Wentz goes for 350 yards and four scores. Well, somebody benefited greatly. Maybe it was Fulgham. We'll give him a 50 a 50% projection increase on his 13 points. And that's how you'll want to adjust things. You're going to want to adjust it based on whatever game theory you believe happens here. And if I think Carson Went is in flex, well, then maybe that means Miles Sanders was the one scoring all the touchdowns. Wentz was still viable, but Wentz is really the player I want. Or excuse me, Miles Sanders is the guy I want in there. Conversely, if you'd like to, you can set it up with the opposite, too, to ensure that you don't get Carson Wentz if you think that Miles Sanders went bonkers. So if we grab Miles Sanders and we toss him in the in the captain spot, when you have Carson Wentz in your player pool, you might want to give him a massive decrease. So if Miles Sanders pops up as captain, has 130 yards rushing, two touchdowns, and Carson Wentz only throws for 200 yards and a score. You know, Wentz is probably not going to be in the nuts lineup there. Miles Sanders likely would be. Miles Sanders locked in as a captain. We're game theorizing that Wentz did not have a good game, so we're going to give him a 50% uh, reduction on his 19.43 point projection. All right, my friends. I hope this worked. I hope this was helpful. Uh, you can find all sorts of tutorials on FancyCruncher.com. I make a handful of them myself over on TeamRiserFall.com, including projections for Fancy Cruncher, specifically for FanDuel, Superdraft, and DraftKings. So give it all a look. I'll see you in Discord, my friends. Together we ride.